Thunderstruck by Eric Larson intertwines the stories of two men, Guglielmo Marconi, the inventor who pursued the idea of wireless telegraphy, and Dr. Holly Harvey Crippen, a mild-mannered murderer. These narratives unfold concurrently during the turn of the 20th century and eventually converge in a dramatic fashion due to the technology Marconi created. Marconi was an Italian inventor born in 1874 who became fascinated with the possibility of wireless communication. His early experiments in Italy, though amateurish and conducted with handmade devices, demonstrated that Morse code signals be transmitted without wires. Despite having no formal education in physics, Marconi was relentless, driven by an almost romantic vision of connecting the world invisibly. He moved to England to further his work, where he met with both skepticism and support. Marconi's quest was filled with technical challenges and setbacks. Persistent failure to achieve long-distance communication led him to constantly refine his apparatus. Despite these issues, his demonstrations attracted investors and his company, Marconi's Wireless Telegraph Company, was founded. He claimed that wireless signals could not be interfered with or intercepted, a notion which became pivotal to his rivalry with other inventors and scientists, particularly those who understood that the Earth's curvature would affect long-wave transmissions. Meanwhile, Larson portrays another, darker narrative. Dr. Holly Harvey Crippen, an American homeopath, lived in London with his overbearing and aspiring actress wife Cora. Their marriage soured as Cora became more demanding and infatuated with her own ambition. Crippen found solace in the arms of Ethel Leneve, his young secretary. In 1910, after Cora disappeared, suspicions arose. Crippen and Leneve claimed she had returned to the United States and later that she had died. When investigators insisted on proof of her demise, Crippen and Leneve fled England. Crippen's decision to abscond coincided with Marconi's continued advances. Marconi had finally succeeded in transmitting wireless signals across the Atlantic, disproving many of his critics and securing his fame and fortune. Wireless telegraphy stations began to proliferate across the globe, becoming essential for managing the sea traffic of the British Empire. It was Marconi's invention that played a pivotal role in Crippen's downfall. As Crippen and Leneve, disguised as father and son, boarded the SS Montrose to Canada, they were unaware of the detective work unfolding behind them. The police had found human remains in the cellar of Crippen's home, and a manhunt began. Chief Inspector Walter Dew of Scotland Yard was on Crippen's trail, but he had no way to close the gap until he too boarded a faster ship to Canada. Thanks to Marconi's wireless, the captain of the Montrose, Henry George Kendall, recognized Crippen among his passengers and used the ship's wireless apparatus to alert the authorities. The world was electrified as they followed this first-ever live transatlantic chase. Marconi's invention allowed for real-time updates, bringing an international audience along. Captain Kendall's savvy use of wireless telegraphy was instrumental, allowing Inspector Dew to apprehend Crippen and Leneve right before they could disembark in Quebec. The world watched as Crippen was tried and convicted of murder. The primary evidence was a scar found on a piece of skin from the remains in Crippen's cellar, which was identified as belonging to Cora. Despite a lack of concrete motive or confession, Crippen was found guilty and hanged. Leneve was acquitted and lived out her life in obscurity. Marconi, on the other hand, was heralded for the indirect role his technology played in the capture of Crippen. While the inventor himself had not sought to revolutionize law enforcement or aid in criminal pursuits, the Crippen case became a testament to the impact of wireless telegraphy on society. It facilitated real-time communication over vast distances, shrinking the world in a way similar to the advent of the Internet decades later. Larson's Thunderstruck thus ties together these parallel lives to depict a compelling portrait of innovation, crime, and the unforeseen intersections of new technologies with everyday life. It captures a pivotal moment in history when the world experienced the shrinking of its vast distances all while delivering a thrilling narrative of innovation, tragedy, and the power of human ingenuity. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.